The irrigation of the Imbo Nord, a project under the Institutional and Operational Support Program for the Agricultural Sector, PIOSA, implemented by Enabel for the Burundian population, with funding from the Kingdom of Belgium and with technical support from SHARE. Situated in the heart of Central Africa, the natural region of the Imbo Nord is located in northwestern Burundi, along the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo, south of Rwanda, and north of Lake Tanganyika. This region doesn't have any large town, and the vast majority of the population is rural and lives on agriculture and animal husbandry. The Imbo Plain benefits from abundant water resources and fertile soils, enhanced by the construction of irrigation networks several decades ago. How does the irrigation network work? A run of the river diversion intake feeds a primary canal by gravity, which serves several irrigation blocks in which water is distributed from so-called secondary, tertiary, and finally, quaternary canals, in order to cover as widely as possible the entire area to irrigate. Finally, any excess water is collected via a drain in order to be discharged into the rivers downstream. The Imbo Nord Irrigation Project The topography and hydrography of the Imbo have guided the organization of the area into smallholder farms since the 1950s, with the aim of promoting food and industrial crops. But it was only in the 1970s that irrigation networks were built to intensify development of the smallholder farms. This potential was, however, strongly threatened in the late 2000s, due to poor maintenance and management of the networks, resulting from the political instability of the region during the 1990s. After its rehabilitation in 2015, the Imbo Nord Irrigation Project benefits approximately 33,000 people out of the 200,000 identified in the project's beneficiary districts. It covers 2,745 hectares through more than 150 kilometers of canal networks fed by the Niamagana and the Niakagunda rivers, two tributaries of the Ruzizi which connects Kivu to Tanganyika. In addition to the irrigation and drainage infrastructure, this project also enabled the rehabilitation of nearly 30 kilometers of feeder roads, as well as the post-harvest and storage infrastructure of local development cooperatives, for a total amount of approximately 10 million euros worth of works. Works on the irrigation schemes ended in May 2020, providing the population with a functional irrigation system on the whole project area. The impact of the project on the increase in agricultural productivity is undeniable. The areas under rice cultivation have increased from 37% to 53% in the rainy season, and preliminary analysis indicate that gross production per hectare, estimated at 4,000 euros before the project, increased by more than 50%.